hate it all, every one of them. Do what's good for the Empire, they say. Make your father proud. <sighs> but what about what's good for me? What about making myself proud? They're all useless. Every noble in that stuffy ballroom can go drown themselves for all I care. Who's there? I will have you know that spying on someone is quite rude and... Oh, it's you. Of course I know who you are. It's sort of my job to know who everyone is. You're the newly appointed Duke of Ashalad, are you not? Condolences on your father's early passing. You witnessed me in such a pathetic state, forgive me. I didn't intend for your first impression of the Crown Princess to be... that. Oh, drop the formalities. I think my honor has been fully sullied already. Calling me your Imperial Highness won't save me now. <laughs> Quite perceptive, aren't you? You are correct. I don't believe I need saving either. <sighs> anyway... How come you weren't inside the palace enjoying the ball like the rest of the nobility? Same reason I am? Hmm, whatever could you mean? So, you also have found me expectations you do not wish to abide by. That's interesting. I definitely did not expect that of you. What do I mean by that? Well, you are the newly appointed head of your household. I would think that you would be in more control of your fate than even I am. That isn't true. All right, Duke. You've piqued my interest. Come sit beside me. I would like to hear of this. Oh, I get it. Since you are young and have inherited quite a bit of power, many of your relatives are waiting for you to fumble so they can take that power for themselves. It's quite a common thing for young heirs. I guess we are more alike than I realized. How? Well, we are both figures people admire, and yet we are the only ones who realize how many burdens that authority and luxury brings. We're basically pawns in this place, held to ridiculous standards that we never agree to. How about we be friends? Don't give me the silent treatment. You heard me correctly. I want to be friends with you. Why? Do I need a reason? I'm the princess and you are the duke. Do you not believe we are people who can relate to each other well enough to call ourselves companions? <laughs> That's more like it. So, friend, I have a quick favor to ask of you. Be my fiancé. You heard me correctly. Now that we are friends, don't you believe we should help each other out? You need to protect yourself from your relatives. And as it so happens, I need a way to reject a stuck-up in an arrogant ass's marriage proposal. Who is he? Is that what matters now? Well, it was Count Blake. Wow, I've never heard such colorful language come out of a noble's mouth before. I'm guessing there is bad blood between you? Quite interesting, considering... You'll... do it? Um, this is a mutual agreement, and I don't want you to do this merely to get back at Count Blake. It's not because of that? Then why? You want to protect me from the Count? Really? Well, sure, I know I said we were friends, but I... You can't just grab someone's hand like that! Where are we going? To 
the palace? <laughs> You're much more ambitious than I thought you'd be. You're right. What's the point of moping outside when I've got myself a perfect fiancé to show off to the court? I'm getting used to the fiancé thing quickly. Well, you're the one who grabbed my hand and began running towards the palace, so I didn't exactly have time to take it slow. Well, we're here. Are you ready for this? Then let's do this. Is that the princess on top of the staircase? Who's that cutie with her? Gossiping is unbecoming for a lady. That is the Duke of Ashland. Daisy, it would do good for you to understand that. Yes, brother. May I call on the attention of the nobility of the Hibuan Empire? I would like to make an announcement. I have been officially engaged to this man right here. Duke Ashalad has agreed to my proposal, and we are to be wed soon. As we have fallen in love, I am rejecting the proposal of Count Blake. What? He's what? the leader the of the nation. That may be so, oh but he goodness. is the Duke. <laughs> Seems like the princess has a mind of her own. What did the emperor say to this? As if it matters. His imperial majesty will listen to Princess Kyoko no matter what. Hell, he'd give her half the empire if she wished it. Shall we go down, fiancé? I'm sure you would want to see Count Blake's face for yourself. Yes, let's. You all may continue. Your Highness, congratulations on your engagement. Same to you, Your Grace. Thank you, Lord Trey. Your congratulations are well received. Thank you. I was wondering what was your sudden reason for this arrangement with Duke Ashlad. I was convinced you were to be wed to the Count. Yes, it is as my fiancé has said. We fell in love. It couldn't really be helped. Now, if you'll excuse us, I've been feeling lightheaded and my fiancé is quite protective. Of course, your highness. Your grace. I guess that must have caught you off guard. You don't seem like someone who has been to many balls. You carried yourself with grace, though. You're already part emperor. Hmm? Am I actually going to marry you? I can see why you would assume this whole thing would be set up as if it were a contract. But why do we have to limit ourselves? Come over here. Look at the stars. They're beautiful, aren't they? This world is ours to live in. The sky is our stage. I don't believe we need to limit ourselves to the ground. Who knows what the wind will bring? Who knows what stars will shine in the days to come? Anything can happen. And who knows, Duke Ashalad? Maybe, just maybe, I could fall in love with you. 